Hi, my name is uh, Tony, um, and I just want to welcome you to the group. Um, I'm so delighted that you have chosen that uh, you want to join Slimming World and get uh, slim and trim again, um, or slim and trim to the first place. I uh, just want to reassure you that um, there is no better place in the world to lose weight than with Slimming World. Slimming World is by far the best weight loss plan in the world. Um, it is absolutely amazing. Uh, I know myself because I found Slimming World myself about four years or five years ago. Um, and I did lose five stone within that first year um, so it was absolutely amazing for me to actually do that so so um, I, I just want to say that you joining Slimming World is probably the best best idea that you've had in a long long time it's it's a master stroke uh, so well done um, and I hope that you're going to enjoy eating loads of lovely lovely food uh, so without further ado what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on the plan and um, the plan that you're going to be following just so that you have a fair idea of what the plan actually is so we're going to go through that now um, so hopefully you have your packs and in your packs there's a number of books in your packs and um, every book in your pack does something for you so every book you're going to use in your pack um, the main book that you're going to look at uh, we're going to look at in this video is the be in love with food optimizing book this one here okay so be in love with food optimizing and we're going to go through this book step by step with you uh, um, and give you a fair idea of the plan so without further ado let's get going then so as we go through this book, uh, on the first page, as you'll see, there's a message from Margaret Miles Bramwell. Margaret Miles Bramwell is our um, uh, founder of Slimming World, and she founded Slimming World over 50 years. Um, so there's over 50 years of experience gone into Slimming World and Slimming World groups. So it's absolutely amazing. So if you want to have a look at that message, you can have a look at that message. What we're asking you to do is discover the difference. The difference that is free food. Um, there's this thing that we're going to be talking about a lot is free food. Um, now free food means that you can eat as much as you want and there is no weighing, counting or measuring, which is absolutely amazing. So you don't have to count anything. You don't have to weigh anything. You don't have to measure anything. If it's something as a free food, then all you've got to do is eat it and enjoy it. And absolutely amazing that we can do that and we can eat as much food as we want one of the things we're never going to be hungry okay um so making sure that we fill up on free food making free food our friend is very very important so you'll read about that um what you're going to look at is free food has a number of things so filling power satisfying power slimming power liberating power and appetite reducing power so so free food will help you uh, keep full and fuller for longer and making sure that you're totally satisfied that you're never going hungry and that's very very important that we're not hungry at all on the next page after free food you'll find that there is a, a page called symbol sense there are a number of symbols beside all of the foods um, and if you look at these symbols these symbols can help you um, target the, the foods that you want to eat um, so there is the s symbol beside some of the foods uh, and s is for speed free foods so speed free foods will get you a better weight loss so the more speed free foods you can put into your diet the more weight loss that you're going to get um, so making sure that you make sure that you get uh, always snack on free feeds uh, speed free foods and making sure that every main meal has at least one third of speed free food on the plate so you're looking at your plate you can actually see one third of uh, speed free food on that plate the next one is peas peas for protein and protein will fill you up and keep you fuller for longer uh, so the more protein you add in the less hungry you're going to be the less food you're going to eat um, the next symbols then will be f and c f is for fiber uh, fiber helps your body work itself and then calcium helps your teeth your hair your bones so these are healthy healthy things that need to be in your diet so it's all about the balance uh, in your diet what you're going to see at this it, with this um, uh, plan is that there, it's a very easy plan. There's there's three extra easy steps. So there's only three steps that you need to be kind of worried about right now. And the first one is um, free food. So making sure that you fill up on free food. So that's going to be your first and most important part is to try and find out what are the free foods and fill up on those free foods and making sure that you eat plenty of them. Um, and that's that's going to be a good one. Step two then is your healthy extras. So making sure that you get your healthy extras into your diet. So making sure that's that's where you get your fiber your calcium and all that from so making sure that you get those healthy extras into your diet as well and we're going to talk more about those now in a second and then step three then is your sins so making sure that you do have some sins and sins are there so that you're not deprived in any way shape or form so one of the best things about Slimming World is that if you want a bar of chocolate you want a glass of wine whatever it is that you want to have you can go and have that and not feel guilty about it um, once you do so within those sin values then that's all, all okay and we're going to talk more about those in a second as well 
So um, free food, free food is all of your, we're gonna talk about free food first, step one. So we're gonna talk about that first. So step one is your free food. So making sure that you understand what free food actually is. Free food is all your meat, your poultry, your fish, um, your dairy products, rice, pasta, and grains. Yeah, absolutely, you can have rice, pasta, and grains. Um, fruit, vegetables, peas, beans, and lentils, and then vegetable proteins. All of these things would be, be uh, free, free foods, okay? So um, again, we need to fill up on all of these foods. So so if you look in the book, you'll see that there is a section called free food. And the first thing that you'll see in that, se in, in that section is um, meat and poultry. Now there's three, three things, three conditions on meat and poultry. All meat and poultry is totally sin free on three, three conditions, there's three terms here. So the first one is, is that you cut off all visible fat. So if you can see visible fat on the meat, then you're gonna cut it off. And then the rest of the meat is totally sin free and you can eat as much as that as you want. Um, uh, the second one is then if you're eating poultry, making sure that you take the skin off poultry and you're not eating the skin so you're only eating um, the meat that's there and you're cutting off all excess fat as well and then the next thing then is with mince making sure if you're going to use mince of any kind then it has to be five percent or less fat content in that mince and once it's five percent or less con fat content then it's a it's a totally sin free food and you can go away and eat as much as you want so that's absolutely amazing so that's there for you as well so that's all your meat and poultry moving on to the next page then you'll see all fish fish all fish is sin free as well so you can eat away with fish fresh or frozen fish is fine you can eat away with that um, and again it's a good food a good source of protein to fill you up as well um, so all fish is sin, sin free and um, so having a look at the what, what sort of fish that you want if there's any breading added to it or any oils or anything like that then it's not sin free or any batter then it's not sin free but the actual fish would be sin free all, uh, already and um, dairy products we're talking about here is natural fat free yogurts which are which are totally sin free and um, so as long as there's no flavorings in there then they will be sin free if there are flavorings in there then they will have a small sin value so have a look at that but definitely fat free natural yogurt fat free greek yogurt all totally sin free um so again looking at looking at that and and, and try and get the fat free stuff and eat away on those and let them fill you up as well rice pasta and grains a lot of people are very surprised about rice pasta and grains being a free food and you can eat as much as you want it definitely is true you can eat as much rice pasta and grains as you like to eat um, and that's totally a sin free food um, so again filling up on those foods as well uh, just remember that these free foods are not speed some of these free foods are not speed free foods so again making sure that you have the balance there as well so if you're only eating pasta you're not going to eat, lose, lose a lot of weight but you won't put on weight just by eating pasta um, so that's your rice, pasta and grains. And then moving on to vegetables, no surprises for thinking that vegetables might be sin free. Absolutely they are. The most important thing that we look at here is when we're looking at the vegetable section and the fruit section is we're looking at the symbols beside the foods and making sure that we're targeting those speed free foods. The ones that have the S symbol beside them will get you a better weight loss. So it's good to kind of target those and get those into your main meals as well. Remember one third of your plate should be speed free food on your plate. So making sure that you, you do that as well. Moving on then to your fruit as well. Fruit is the same thing. A lot of fruit um, is speed free foods, but a lot of it isn't as well. So making sure you do check which fruit that you're going to eat. But remember, fruit is all sin free. So therefore there is no sin value on fruit. So you can eat as much as you want. Um, but making sure that you target those speed free foods will get you a better weight loss. <clears throat> Moving on then to beans, peas and lentils, all totally sin free. So beans, peas and lentils, just a normal tin of beans. There's no sins there at all. So you can work away with those if you want. Um, and then vegetable proteins like meat replacements like corn and all that would be uh, totally sin free. But just remember if there's any breading added to it or any oils added to it, then it is not sin free after that then. So on the next page after your speed free foods, what you'll see is you'll see your store corporate staples. These are also free foods um, and these these would be used and I guarantee you, you have these at home in the press normally. They would be in a normal kitchens at this normal food. Um, and this is all your spices, your herbs, uh, your salt and vinegar, mustard powder, um, soy sauce, oyster sauce, uh, stock pots or stock uh, cubes, tomato purees, fat free dressings, all of these are totally sin free foods and then you also have your low calorie cooking spray fry light is the one that's sin free so if you want to use fry light to to, to uh, fry anything or to bake anything or anything like that well you can use fry light and you can use as much of that as you want and that's a totally sin free uh, uh, food as well on the next page what you'll see is you'll see that there is a we talk here a little bit about um, 
drinks okay so um there's a footnote there at the end it says alcoholic drinks will always carry sins we're going to talk about alcoholic drinks later on in the video um but just for now we're talking about water water is totally sin free and then you have any sugar-free cordials so any any cordials that are sugar-free or any sugar-free drinks uh diet coke uh, coke zero any of those will be totally sin free um and then normal black tea and coffee is totally sin free obviously if you add the milk or the sugar into that then it's not sin free anymore you've got to count the the milk or the sugar um so that's all of your free foods what you're going to look at then on the next page is you're going to look at top swaps. Now these, the idea here is quite simple, that you have one thing on the, on, on the left side that is a sin value. Okay, so the example, the very first example is sugar. Sugar is one sin per level teaspoon. Okay, so a level teaspoon of uh, sugar is one uh, sin. And then if you look on the other side, on the right side, it says that the top swap is sweetener. So if you change sugar for sweetener, that's, that's a top swap and that's going to get you some weight loss. Again, there's plenty of other top swaps and where you'll hear a lot about top swaps is when we're in group talking about what we did this week and what, 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 what happened and what I found this week. These are the top swaps that I found. You'll get a lot of ideas in group and group is where you'll find all of the top swaps discussed all of the time. There's an example in the book of a shopping list. You don't need to go out and buy this shopping list, but it is an example of a sin-free shopping list. If you did buy that shopping list, you would be totally sin-free. So it's all there and it's on plan. So that is all of the sin-free um, food that you can eat. Absolutely amazing amount of food and things that you can eat and things that you can just enjoy, enjoy food. If you love food, you're in the right place. You really, really are. Um, just to illustrate, there is, a, there is an illustration on page 30 and 31. I'm going to hold this up for you and let you see it. But it perfectly illustrates the power of free food and Slimming World's uh, food optimizing. So if you look at this page here, you'll see that there is a, a meal on this side, which is quite high in calories, quite high in fat content. And then there's three meals on the other page. The most interesting thing about this is that the amount of sins on this page, is ex the amount of calories on this page is exactly the same as the amount of calories on this page. So all three of these meals put together have exactly the same calories as this one meal here. And that is why food optimizing works so well. You are eating way more food for the same or even less calories. And that's why you're going to lose a lot of weight. So what we're going to move on to next is we're going to move on to your healthy extras. Now this is where the little bit of control element comes into the plan, um, where we need to do a little bit of weighing and measuring. Um, all of your healthy extras uh, need to be weighed and measured exactly as they say in the book. So you need to use exactly the amount that's in the book. Okay. So uh, there are two types of healthy extras. There's a healthy extra B and healthy extra A. You're allowed every single day two healthy extra A's and one healthy extra B. Okay, so that's what the allowance is every single day. And you weigh and measure them to exactly what it says in the book. If you look at your healthy extra A choices, you have all of your milk and cheese. Milk is on one side, cheese is on the other side, and the weights are there for the cheese and the amounts are there for the milk. So you need to weigh and measure these. So it's important now that you go out and you get a little kitchen scales if you don't have one, or get a measuring jug if you don't have one, and measure these out every single day and use the amount that's allowed in there. Um, it's quite generous. Uh, there, there's quite generous amounts of cheese and milk allowed because you're allowed to have two of those every single day. So it's, it's actually quite a generous allowance as well. Moving on then to your healthy B choices. So your healthy B choices, all your bread and your cereal um, and making sure that you understand your bread and cereal. Yes, they are healthy extra B choices, but they can also be sinned as well. So you can also count them in as your sins as well. So it depends on what you want to do. Such a versatile plan that you can mix and match it around to fit it into your lifestyle and making sure that you're able to do it. Um, so bread and cereals, healthy extra B choices, all your bread and cereals. Um, for example, just give you an example, 60 grams of wholemeal, all wholemeal bread is totally, uh, is one, one healthy extra B. So 60 grams of wholemeal bread, so proper wholemeal bread, 100% wholemeal bread, 60 grams is one healthy extra B. So what you've got to do is you've got to get two slices of bread out, put them on the scale, see what they are and chop off the tops if that's necessary. Um, there are some choices that are in there that are, that are actually uh, two slices of a certain bread that are a healthy extra B. So you need to check all that out in the book and that's your healthy extra Bs. In both the healthy extra sections, you have a grab and go section, which is really, really handy. If like me, you just don't like to weigh and measure stuff, uh, you want to check out the, the, the weigh and go sections. Really, 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 really handy just to have them there. And you can just grab two slices of this or 
whatever it is, uh, cheese triangles or whatever it may be that are healthy extras. Um, so making sure that you look at the grab and go sections that are there for the healthy extras as well. Also falling into your healthy extra bees will be canned fruit, dried fruit and cooked fruit. All of these will either, and nuts and seeds, so all of these would either carry a sin value or would be counted as your healthy extra bee choice. So that's what we've talked about. Now we've talked about two things, first two steps, the first two steps. So we talked about free food and then we talked about healthy extras. So make sure that you fill up on the free food and then weigh and measure healthy extras and add them into your diet wherever is applicable to add them into your diet. So step three then is your sins. Um, so sins are there so that we don't feel restricted. We're not on a diet, we're on a healthy eating plan. That's what we're doing. We're eating healthy and we're making sure that we get the right stuff in there, um, the right amount of stuff in there as well. So sins in the book, you'll find in the back of the book, there's massive amount of sin values. Um, the way the sin values work is that you're allowed to have five to 15 sins every single day. 15 sins is not a target, it's just a limit, okay? So uh, you, you get up to 15 sins every single day. There may be some people that may have more weight to lose and they may have more sins and you can have a look in the back of the book and find the, the section in the back of the book that has all about the sin values and what you would be allowed compared to your weight as well. Most people work really, really well on 10 to 15 sins every single day. Most people, uh, that works out really, really well. If you're looking in the back of the book, you'll see there's a massive amount of sin values, a load, a load, a load of sin values in the back of the book. Also, you'll have your app, which we'll, we'll talk to you through and how to get into your app as well, where you can check all the sin values. And we have a scanner as well that you can go and scan the products and see what the sin value is on those products. So what this plan is all about, is all about balance. It's all about trying to make sure that you balance your foods. At the moment, your your diet is probably off balance completely, um, which is normal for most people. Um, that's society, that's the way it is. And um, what we just need to do is tweak that balance a little bit and turn it back again, okay? So eating more of the free foods, which are good free foods, um, and eating, eating less of the, the high sin value foods, but not cutting them out altogether. You don't have to give up anything at all uh, on Slimming World. Once you're on Slimming World, you'll find out that nothing is out of bounds, nothing is off limits because you have the sin value there to do it. So there is a page in this book, it's on page 40, 48 and 49. Um, it talks about safe tipple plan. This is about alcohol. Alcohol is one of the most high calorie foods that we have um, in any society. So uh, obviously drinking a lot of alcohol is gonna make, make you gain more weight um, and that's just obvious. But it doesn't mean that you have to stop drinking alcohol. If you like to drink alcohol, you use your sin value to, to drink the alcohol that's lower sin values, um, and then you can continue to drink alcohol. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. And you can still lose plenty of weight even drinking alcohol. So have a look at the Save Tipple Plan um, book. So the next page on page 50 and 51 is a special page because it talks about your fabulous first week. Um, in Slimming World, uh, if I said to you, how would you like to come back here next week uh, or log in next week and have lost five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pounds? You're probably now at the moment saying that's absolutely not possible. Actually, it is possible. We see it all the time. Um, people do come back and they lose lots of weight. Uh, it is expected that you will get a very, very good first week weight loss if you stick to the plan and you get on plan quickly. Right now is the time to get on plan. Right now, decide this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna plan out my week. I'm gonna really, really knock it out of the park because when you do that, you get a fantastic first week weight, weight, weight loss because it's a massive big weight loss. It spurs you on to get more and more and more and more and that's, that means the weights can come off very, very, very quickly. Half a stone in two weeks, how does that sound? Half a stone in weight in two weeks, that's absolutely amazing weight loss but it's definitely possible, absolutely. You can do it right now. Um, it doesn't happen by magic. There's no magic bullet here. There's nothing that I can't give you the magic answers. I don't have it, you know, but what I do have is a solid plan for you to do it. And if you look on page 52 and 53, you'll see there's a, a, a 10 essential steps for terrific results. This is how you get that fantastic first weight loss and every single week after that. This is how you do it. There's a couple of things here that you need to do. There's a couple of things that you need to start doing right now. Um, and the first thing, number one says, read your books. You need to take this book. I'm going through the plan, quick, 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 snappy, snappy with you in this video. But you just need to sit down and you need to read these books from cover to cover, back to back, all of them, every single book, and use every single book in the pack. Every single book needs to be used in the pack. 
Number 10 then says stay to group. Obviously at the moment we are in COVID restrictions um, and we don't have physical groups probably running at the moment. Or maybe we do, maybe we don't. It depends on the COVID restrictions. But we do have groups running virtually and it's so, so important that you attend those groups running virtually. And this is such a such an integral part of the the whole Slimming World plan, the whole Slimming World experience. Um, and literally attending group every single week with other members who are all in the same boat. You know, at those groups, it's nothing. It's it, what we call, it's called image therapy. It's individual and group motivation. Um, and it's literally, it's nothing magical. It's nothing major. We just get together as a group of like-minded people who want to lose weight. And we just throw in ideas into the pot. We ask a few questions. I'll be asking a few questions about your plan for next week. And it's forward looking all the time. Yes, you might have had a gain this week. Yes, you might have a maintain or hopefully you've had absolutely brilliant weight loss this week. Whatever the story is, there's always an answer there. Always. All we just need to do is uncover it. And image therapy just helps us uncover those answers for ourselves. And it really, really is an amazing part of the journey. It's a part, it's a, it's a really amazing part of the Slimming World plan. It's nine near impossible to lose weight on your own. It's extremely difficult at the very least. And just getting together once a week with a group of people who are going to help you, support you, and motivate you into getting that weight loss that you really, really so deserve. Um, so again, it's a very, very important part of the Slimming World plan. What you also got in your pack is you've also got some food diaries. So food diaries are in your pack. Um, uh, what we'd like you to do is fill in four food diaries, four weeks, four full weeks, four food diaries. Um, I'm gonna show you one right now. Uh, so this is a food diary that's it's kind of just blown up. Um, it's broken into a number of different days. So you see that you have uh, you've, you've literally um, days going across, uh, coming down. So you've got three days on the front and you've got four days on the back. Okay. There are a number of sections here. Okay. So the first section is for all your free, free foods. So these are all for your free foods all in the first speed free foods in the first section and then your free foods that are not speed free foods in the second section the third section then is for your healthy extras and then the fourth section is for your sins so what you're going to do is every single week you're going to fill in one of these what these do for you is they give you a great blueprint when you have that fantastic first week weight loss you can come to group and say I've lost four pounds I've lost five pounds I've lost six pounds whatever that is um, and this is how I did it because we're going to want to know, we're going to want to know how did you do it? And if you have one of these filled in, you know exactly how you did it. You know exactly what you've eaten for the whole week. And when you're filling these in, make sure that you be very exact about it. It's not spaghetti bolognese. It's what went into the spaghetti bolognese because we all know that the sins sneak in there. There's different things sneak in there. And that's totally natural and normal. So knowing what's on, what's on there is really, really important. You can email these to me and I can have a look at them for you um, and let you give, you give you a few pointers and making sure that you're kind of give you that little bit of extra support that you really so deserve. Uh, I'm delighted to, fi to find it that you're here with Slimming World. I'm delighted that you came to join my group and, and I want to make sure that you lose as much weight as you can. Um, that is my, 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 my mission is that every single person in the group loses weight every single week and gets to their all important target weight, whatever that is. You're gonna choose your target weight yourself. You're gonna let us know what that is um, through your app. Um, and your target weight is your own. You know, you decide what your target weight is. I'm not gonna tell you what weight you should be. You decide that and what weight you would love to be. What I would say to you is when you're deciding on your target weight, have a think about it. Don't just rush in and say, I want to lose 10 pounds. I want to lose this, I want to lose it. Just have a think about it and think about it like, you know, and say, well, be realistic about it, but also dare to dream, you know. Um, I know when I joined Slimming World the first time around, I wasn't really that interested in setting target weight. But the second time around, I decided that, do you know what, there's a weight that I want to be because I haven't been that way since my early teens. And in my early teens, I knew I was X amount of weight and I wanted to be that again. And I did it. I absolutely did it. Absolutely smashed it. So again, that's, that's the way to look at targets. Targets help you lose more weight. When you set a target, you're going to get it. And that's the main thing. So making sure that you understand that that's the importance of having a target. It's very, very important. So 
I hope you absolutely love what you've heard. I absolutely adore Slimming World. I love the plan. I love Slimming World itself. I love working for Slimming World. I love following Slimming World. I love food. I love the members. I love everything about Slimming World. There's nothing I don't like about Slimming World. Um, so again, I hope that you're the same. I hope that you find that, that Slimming World really suits your lifestyle because you know what? It suits all lifestyles. It really is so easy to follow the plan um, and get in there. Um, so I hope you have a, an amazing time and I'm so delighted that you looked at this video um, and I'm so delighted that you, uh, I hope that you get much, a lot out of this video and I really, really want you to lose as much weight as you really want. So in that, in that, uh, with, with that said, just to make the point that I am going to contact you in the first week um, just to see how you're getting on and um, just a short welcome to the group and see if there are any issues that you found or anything that you need help with or anything like that. And then every so often I'm going to be contacting you just to see how you're getting on, like just to make sure that, that you are uh, getting on okay and that there's nothing there that, 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 that is, is, is kind of going astray on you. Um, in image therapy and certainly I won't be afraid to ask the hard questions when and I know this will happen this always happens it happens a, a number of times with people sometimes um, that you know your weight loss actually will mean more to me than it does to you um, and when that time happens I won't be afraid to ask those hard questions I won't be afraid to kind of ask you know why what how is this or what's this what's happening what do you think is happening um, and I hope that's okay with you because what's behind that is my mission is to make sure that you lose weight. That's it. That's that's all that's behind it. Nothing else. Um, so uh, I look forward to seeing you in group. Uh, I can't wait uh, for you to start your journey. Um, I can't wait to be there with you along us. Uh, and let's do it.